welcome to JTG's Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Part 81. So where we left off in the last part, the penultimate chamber of the seafloor cavern. Now in the seafloor cavern, in this chamber, there are loads of strength boulders and you need to do a certain way of getting through so just watch this carefully and keep on going over this because I couldn't get in, into my head I needed to use actually a guide to do this because I can never remember how to do it uh, so just watch how I've done it and how you get through this small chamber so very close so just go to the left on there and then push this to the side and there we go. Now in this last chamber of the seafloor cavern it's misty and you find TM26 earthquake. So uh, come down here and then you see a big large amount of water and a silver looking Kyogre. We actually beat Archie, even though Archie had a submarine and he set off well before us. He uh, obviously is too slow. So we got there first. Um, and he congratulates you and all stuff for getting here. But now you have to battle the Team Aqua Leader, Archie. Now, he's actually quite easy to defeat. He's got the usual sort of level Pokemon level 40s that sort of thing so he's not that bad the move that most annoys me about Mantiana is Swagger because it gets your Pokemon confused and it's very annoying um, but people say sometimes that confusion stops confusion doesn't have much of a chance to affect you if you hold down the A button which is what I always do and when it just I don't know if it's just me and the look I get but usually when I don't press A I hurt myself in confusion more so I don't know if that room is true or not but I always go for it so the same goes with pokeballs actually and stuff if you hold the A button apparently they stay in there better um, <coughs> So, just watch the fight between me and the Team Aqua Leader, Archie. Now, Archie's a bit low down on his items. You would expect him to use like a Hyper Potion or a Max Potion or Full Restores, but he actually only uses Super Potions, which is pretty pathetic of him because it means he... I mean, it's good for us, of course, but it's kind of bad for him. Very bad, in fact. Yes, the move I've been waiting for Electric to learn. Thunder. Thunder is like one of the best moves, if not the best move for electric types, especially when it's used against um, something that, oh yes, yeah, Sharpedo. I'm using Thunder on Sharpedo. The only bad thing about Thunder is it doesn't really have a high hitting rate, so um, sometimes it can, you know, tend to not work for a long period of time because the chances of hitting are actually lower I think than 
missing, if you know what I mean. Okay, so uh, the Team Aqua leader actually turned out to be a bit of a pushover and very easy to um, defeat, but now he says stuff and then suddenly the red orb interrupts him. Just watch. Then it all goes silent, dead suspense, and then he gets um, a call from one of his members saying it's raining heavily. Do you know what? Hoen is flooding. Hoen is about to be drowned out by Groudon and Kyogre and their ultimate rage. Big speech. And then um, Team Magma come along and say, What are you doing, you stupid man? What have you done? You've drowned all Hoen. I kill you. Uh, yeah, I'll leave you to watch all the suspense and drama of Pokemon Emerald. Or oh, most of it, anyway. Okay, so when they run off panicking, look who arrives, Steven. He's, like, afraid, as all of us should be at this point. Even though it's not, it's just a game, as we all know. But this is one of the bad things in Pokemon Emerald, because it's very suspense. And, suspense style, anyway. And, then, we're going to head to Suitopolis City, just like Steven has. Let's fly there now. I think something awful's going on there. Maybe Groudon and Kyogre are raging. Who knows? Let's see now. So it looks like Hoenn will just drown from the epic rage of Groudon and Kyogre. Not if I can help it. We're going to save Hoenn. Bye.